go. Mulligan straight away from yeah. Kitty. The RN10 will be starting now. And again, this is a best of three now situation. Four rounds for top cuts, because obviously it's best of eight. Or is it three rounds? I can work that out. Yeah, three or four. One or the other. Uh, yeah, it'll be, yeah, it'll be three. Yeah, there we go. I'm glad someone's got some mental acuity left with them. Cause yeah. But uh, Koo Caspel to start. Not the best of op openings for uh, Kitty there, I don't think. But it's, Yeah, it's, it's probably not his greatest opener, but I also don't think you really hate it. No, and I suppose in a, in a water deck you have also got to be worried about the fact that effectively damage could be reduced. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that is a, you're probably a good card if you're seeing water against you to throw out there. I'm not sure if there is anything on the list that is damage reduction wise. Um, I don't believe so. No, no, I say no. No min moves, no... Yeah, nothing like even... Oh, the little Leela? Uh, no, because that's reducing power, it's not uh, damage reduction. So, uh, yeah. But um, an interesting one, obviously, we've seen the Agrosh here from um, Reese as well. Obviously, quite useful against the ice matchups, but I don't think we got any ice in the top cut other than sort of an ice lightning brew. So, I'm, I don't know whether to say I'm almost a bit shocked to see this Agrosh. It's been a while since I've kind of seen it. Yeah, and not a great second turn for Kitty here. Just a goblin and pass, whereas now uh, Reese is going to. Uh, four backups he's gone with Astrologian and with Princess Sarah so he is off to oh, the races oh wow five backups second turn that's I mean three crazy. backups are awesome yeah um, and that's quite nice with the new sort of EX Burst Warrior of Light as well which is in the deck there's only a one of but uh, it does mean that you can search out these three backups which is pretty sweet you see this kind of it's kind of proof to me why you don't really need that many backups that Reese is running yeah I mean Maybe if he didn't have those backups, this might not be the case right now, though, yeah. I guess. I suppose the interesting bit is, like, obviously he's running Sarah, Gordon, and Princess Sarah, so it's, like, two search options there. Not sure particularly why. You could probably get away with dropping one of those. Um, but, again, we see... We, oh, sorry, we saw this earlier from Kitty. The Tyrus into the Warrior backup, which is pretty, pretty nice. As that thing did come up towards the end of his game with Sam Griffiths. But, uh, so we're uh, having a drop of war in a Tyvus and it feels almost forced just to be able to put someone out there at this point. I think he's struggling at the moment. And as if to have uh, the answer, he's on, he's on five backups, so that is the perfect time to play Ash for one. Tyvus is no more. It feels unfortunate, but it almost feels like Kitty's already lost, but... It does. It, it's going to be hard to claw back in, but again, this is a best of three, so you might as well try and eke out as much of, you know, yeah. uh, of your opponent as you can, see how he plays the deck. The thing is, obviously, these guys play on a weekly basis, so I can't see it being uh, too much of an issue. But we're going into Piranha and Echidna off the realm and getting back Aqua Terrasso as well. Oof, Reese in a commanding position here for game one. Would you mind if we pop up the Piranha? Because it's not okay. a card that I am too versed on. Yeah, so during your turn, as a forward of 4,000, when it enters the field, choose one forward upon the controls, it loses 2,000 power. Not particularly great, but uh, I think that Kitty now is just trying to find a way to get back into his backups. Um, so we're going with the cyan probably searching the okay oh, we're going for a samurai I mean I think it, it still gets you a crystal and it gets you the draw yeah. uh, you can play it pretty cheaply as well and then you can use the draw to try find another backup which Kitty desperately wants right now yeah and to be honest as well like if he can maybe get to five by the end of next turn at the, at the latest he might be okay and he could possibly stabilise but Right now, though, he needs to he needs to do something yeah. pretty drastic. And the one thing he doesn't have to worry about is obviously too much breaks on removal. So we see there, obviously, that uh, that Mimu FFBE that could be mounted back later, which could be good. There we go. So he's up to three. Didn't see any of his uh, free backups yet. 
So if I was Kitty, I'd be sat there thinking that my opponent is right now in the position that I want to be in. And it is hard at that point. It's almost like a mental game, I feel. Oh, so you, you want to be at the five backups in mono fire, like 100%, just to be able to Monty Onis whenever you want. And this is the perfect matchup for a Monty Onis since you're not worried about Mitch Dragon. Yeah, and as if to sort of prove the point now, Reese going into uh, Atidas and again there's obviously a bit of controversy here today around sort of how this uh, how the T just works with regards to things like Amat so now it seems to think that uh, the three actions are three separate abilities um, I'm not entirely sure on that one but I mean it feels like it's all on one line so it should be all one yeah I mean because it says actions like it's still one ability yeah like one when you do so but Again, something that probably needs to be FAQ'd or put to a potential decent judges panel or something like that. Uh, but Reese taking a huge lead here now, 3 to nil, attacking with Piranha, Ash and the Realm. This t has really set back Kitty, and I think we can probably say goodbye to round one here. I'm not sure what ammunition Kitty has got in the tank to be able to get us back into this. You'd need to pull something godly out to go at this, I feel. Well, I'm, I'm shocked by this. I probably wouldn't have removed that the uh, the Tejas from the game, personally. But I suppose, again, though, now that it is gone, the Larkakis does reactivate. But the thing is, is you're kind of stuck no matter what you pick here, because you can play another Tejas, but then you can play another Ash, you can play another Realm. Uh, I'd say the last pick you want to be picking is the realm because if he gets another realm and then puts two more monsters on the field, you might as well just call it a game there. I'm. Uh, no, I mean no. Lackaker like, still doesn't activate no matter what. So again, I'm like, I don't ever want my opponent to be playing another Tida. So I, you know probably would have just removed the ash or the realm potentially but i would probably remove the ash i think ash is the least of the worries coming back out over tita some realm yeah um but we're going in with jack now and i think we've targeted the realm and i think reese is potentially oh no we're just going to bounce it with us in hack and chief that's pretty nasty because now we're going to get to play that again no damage done, but it has left the field, but he's going to get two more monsters out of it. Still got a bit of a crowd gathered around these top eight players. Not so much around the stream table, but obviously we've still got the others going on as well. So, Kitty hanging in like he is now shows that if he was able to ramp up at the start that this would be quite the match sort of thing yeah I, I couldn't agree more and the thing is again like that's why I'm a bit shocked that we would let him like let this happen look now we're playing yeah. another Tidus you're setting yourself that, that sort of time behind again so I'm assuming Warrior would go to the top and jet to the bottom um I mean yeah I I, I, I would think I'll be fine because yeah. Now you know you're not going to hit any X burst. Yeah, I think I think Kitty just had a really bad start with this one. Clearly he mulliganed his first hand, which wasn't to his liking. But there's the warrior. Piranha going in. That's going to be five. We do hit a Mont Blanc, but yeah, no, we're going to scoop on that one. Yeah, Kitty not... Don't waste any time. Get into the next game, see what you can do. Yeah, no, I, I, I think he had a bad start. Nothing he could have done there. But that goes, uh, no, sorry, that's not. Wrong way round. Yeah, wrong way round. <laughs> one loss to Kitty, one win to Reese. There we go, so. First blood in uh, in this best three, going to Reese. Gonna re power shuffle. Plenty of time still left on the clock for this one. So, uh, Kitty gonna really be hoping that he hits a better start in hand this time. Um, I think in, he's realised now in order to keep up with Reese, he needs to at least be sort of three backers by end of turn two at the, at yeah. the bare minimum. You know? I think Reese is a bit better here at pumping out the backups than Kitty is, but there's more of a demand on Kitty to have the backups than there is Reese. Oh, absolutely, because again, Fire's weakness has always sort of been that like backup package thing. Yeah. Mew went a long way to help him with that, but again, though, 
I mean, I was kind of surprised to see that he wasn't running the Miu package. Very true, yeah, because, uh, you know, I, get, I know that Mick Allen in his Monofire sort of bomb list was running the Dominion Legionary as well as the Miu in order to get to five backups quickly. But, uh, yeah, I'm, you know, Kitty's decisions on the backups are... Is... I, I mean, I understand, but then I also feel like it's not the quickest way to ramp up to your five backups because we got two Lacassius, we got the Kuchaspel, we got two Warriors, a Princess Goblin, uh, two Samurais, three Culinarians, a Mont Blanc, uh, Red Thirteen, and I have no clue samurai. what that is. That's the Samurai. That's also a samurai. That is a samurai. Yeah, oh, so we got two, you got three, the two, the two cost crystal generator and the three cost. Um, got you. Kitty not happy with his stat in hand yet again. again yeah. Uh, and he, we see an axe stat. The pro- I suppose the good thing that Kitty has going for him is that he does have, um, you know, a lot of forwards to search backups. But if you're having to overpay for those to begin yeah. with, it, it doesn't feel great. So I've, I, I get the samurais. I get the culinarians. But I almost feel like you want that Miu package just to guarantee yourself two backups as yeah. quickly as possible. Yeah, oh my god. So we have had to turn one Tyvus and we're going to get Reese going straight into Aqua Tarasu here. And wow, oh, that is wow. big. This already feels awful. Yeah, that's, uh, that's massive. So just Gordon, draw one, discard one, and we pass. Uh, again though, Kitty in theory. Looking to discard an ace, and we're playing a Mont Blanc. Yeah, let's go, there's a soul we're swinging. Okay, so just the Alchemist. I I almost feel bad for Kitty for these, this awful luck of draws that he's getting. If, if I was in Kitty's position, I think I would be absolutely mortified with this. Yeah, but I mean, you know, he is a, is a professional at the game at this point. You know, he's had yeah, his top cuts. He's been here before. Sometimes this is just the way you run. You know, you uh, you just don't see the thing. You, you know, your deck in the right order. Um, again, though, in theory, Kitty could go sort of goblins into the princess goblin here. Um, the thing is, you need to keep up with Reese. That's the biggest thing because if that T just hits and you aren't ready with an Amat. You're gonna be uh, you're gonna be really far behind off that. As we saw You've already had to overpay for a Tavas, which just got Leviathan anyway. So you're already running behind automatically from the get go. But at least Reese had to get rid of well uh, six cards in hand for yeah. that. Oh, six cards, sorry, three, three cards, cards in hand. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, so oh, Kuka Lane, that is pretty nasty. He's gonna get the draw off it. Reese still sat on a full grip. He's probably got plenty of time to still get into this game. Um, yep, sleeves are going up. Here comes the hard work. <laughs> Maybe had the finger crack there as well. <laughs> yeah. Now he's just thinking. I mean, you can play a couple backups here, go to damage three and, and be absolutely okay with it. Um, is Yeah, he is playing the one off the tross, so... Going to damage three isn't necessarily a bad thing. It will be live, but obviously you do need to get it out there. Uh, but we're going into Astrologian. Just nothing followed up from the Astrologian. And while you were hearing there is Taylor just ordering some shopping from his partner. Uh, he's, he's got the Costco card, but unfortunately I'm stuck here, so... I mean, you, can, you can leave. Uh, you no, can no, leave. no, it's okay. <laughs> it, it, I, it's one of those things, I do the cooking, the grocery shopping, so he has no clue what we need. Right. <laughs> That's not good. But uh, getting Cyan into a Samurai now, just going with the two drop. I'm almost surprised to see this, Siam, but I guess if you want to ramp up your backups, it's not awful. Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised again we didn't go with a three drop one, but I suppose we can now get the two drop one out right away. Um, 
I, I think I would have still been inclined for the three drops. Even if you overpay, you get the draw and you get the crystal, which for the Scion is quite big. The problem is, is that you've got to keep up with water here, which is obviously almost infinite value with the amount of draw it's going to get. Um, you know, you're not surging as many backups off of your backups as you are against water, so yeah. you've got to be careful with what and how you're overpaying. So uh, it's not the best matchup for kiddies, uh, matchups for kiddie, unfortunately. To be honest, I thought it would have been a little bit better. For, like, you know, it's not as if it's uh, you know a min room on a water sort of thing where you're uh, having to have all of your damage reduced and that you need Ku Caspel to stay in the game. You know, but uh, again, another astrologian from Reese. What are we gonna get here? I mean, Reese. I hand... can't see the cards that he's pulled from it. No, I mean his hand is already pretty stacked to the brim. Adding another to this, I guess he wants a backup just to to go a bit further, a bit quicker, you know. You kind of hope for the one that you free play, I guess, at this point. Just get those backups out as fast as possible, and then you're golden. Yeah, and I don't think that would have been such a hard decision had it been one of those. Yeah. But... It does look like maybe we will... I think that was a Ooh. Lena at the top. Okay, so it was a, it was a one-drop... Uh, Geomancer. Yeah, and now he's just gone into a Lockeret, so... He, again, look how fast he has ramped these backups. Now he's found Sarah as well, but his Gordon is down, and he would only be able to search a copy of herself or Princess Sarah. So. I don't think there's a deck better for ramping up backups than Mono Water in, at the moment. Although you say that, Kitty answers with a Princess Goblin into a Culinarian, is it, I believe? Um, never remember the name of this one. Yeah, Culinarian. Yeah. Yeah. So at least he's on four on par, but Reese will be going to five next turn without a doubt. Even if it is just a play Sarah to strip another copy of herself out of the deck but I think you, you still go to combat here you still push with Tyvus I think um, and, I, and, the, and the Cyan probably I don't think you need a party attack yeah there's not really any need uh, oh. hitting her Princess Sarah to be honest, I don't think you mind that no, Reese is probably pretty happy with that to be yeah. honest because uh, it gets out of your deck it doesn't clog your hand yep yeah, exactly that Again, though, I'm expecting a fifth backup and an Ash at any point here, because that will definitely deal yeah. with the Tyvus. And I think at this point you want to deal with the Tyvus, because you don't want to keep giving Kitty potential free warrior plays. The thing is, though, he hasn't seen any yet. He saw the one warrior early on. Um, oh, okay, so we don't have the backup, so Warrior Flight's know. probably going to search for yeah, the last backup. Yeah, search it out, strip there it out. Go. I love this play Warrior Light. It's so good. It is amazing because now you have just gotten your fifth backup, you've got the Sour in hand, and you now don't have to worry about uh, overpaying for it. So, yep, he does have Ash in hand, so yeah, here comes the fifth backup. There we go, um, we now finally deal with Tyver. Yeah, I think Tyvus is not long for this game. Is it Tyvus or Tavas? I've heard that those two going around. I'm going with Tyvus, that's, that's how I see it, and that's how I'm pronouncing it. There we go. So it's Ash coming in. There goes the Tyvus. And here we go. Strike back, but we do hit an EX. This time, Kiddy is not punished. And I would assume you grab the two drop because the three drops are not getting you the draw anymore. Yeah, exactly that. Get yourself a second crystal. Uh, Kitty hasn't flagged that he has a, sec uh, a first crystal, but he does. Uh, he popped the dice, but it's just by the uh, damage okay. step, so we can't see it. Yeah, because for some reason, the mats have gone skew back up to the top again. Um, oh, we just shown breaks on there. I was like, that's a big hand. <laughs> but nope. So we got the two drops back up. We expected that. Still nothing else that can attack on Reese's side of the board, though. You've just gotten rid of Tyvus. I, I don't think... You've, you're applying enough pressure now that... 
like Kitty needs to start finding answers soon. Yeah, and, and obviously he does need to be wary because obviously again we could start seeing more of these monsters coming out that you yep. can't deal with. It's going to be rough. Also, those piranhas are now online, so if they break, they're also going to be drawing for Reese. Looks like the stream has gone down there. I do apologize. Not that any of you can hear me right now, but we're back. We're up and running. Apologies for that. That's why we record these, so that at least there's some sort of video evidence. <laughs> and here we go, we're going into the Mont, hoping that there is no uh, Akutarasu. So I don't think Reese has an answer anyway at this point. You've seen one or two of those Akutarasus. Yeah. Again though, we know he's got the Mimu FFBE in the deck. Um, which could be clutch. It could be, but then I don't think you really want to be discarding three just to get rid of that War of Light and Ash. Mm -hmm. I mean, at this point, you could just play an ace, yeah. And then you swing with the ace to destroy the Ash. Yeah. Uh, so, Reese just reminding yep. uh, Kitty of the Tyvus trigger as well. Also, the ace trigger. So, he's just going to get rid of those right off the bat. There we go. Now we do have the Tyrus trigger. Tyrus will search. Again, this is uh, not the first time we've seen Mont Leonis today, but and I'm sure it won't be our last. Uh, is that the haste goblin or the ping goblin? Uh, that one, I think, is the ping goblin. So in this case, you you grab the ward, ping the war of life, and the shelf with the goblin, swing with the ace, destroy the ash. Yeah, it's this one. Yeah. So, so you want to grab Ward to ping the Warrior of Light, right? And then you finish it with the Goblin. Yeah, because we're potentially looking at lethal here now. Yes. Um, because everything can swing. Oh, we're going with Firion though. No, I don't. I, yeah, I think Ward is the correct choice. No, here. but we've gone with a backup again. Unless he's got Ward in hand, perhaps. Um, it wouldn't have been lethal because Mont Leonis can't swing and he would still have one of the Piranhas as a blocker. Doesn't Mont Leonis have haste? No, it only gives what it brings out haste. Oh, I see, okay. And even if it did have haste, Piranha would still be those blockers. Piranha's on your forward during your turn. Uh, ah, yep. right. So Glacier, that's a pretty good hit. Here goes Tyrus, so we haven't got... Oh, we here, Coochie Lane. I mean... It's a bit late, but... Yeah. There you go. Then, so yeah, he's just left him on five damage. He's not uh, not trying to be too greedy here. I mean, again, what, what a mirror this game is to the first, because now Kitty in a very commanding position. Yep. It really does go to show if Kitty doesn't brick his hand like he did in the first game just how demanding of a player Kitty is to go up against yeah um, uh, yeah so that's very fair they get physical saying obviously you don't, you don't finish with the goblin because you also have the cyan attack trigger so yeah, yes, true. and there is a few samurais out on that board so uh, luckily that Kusif I think uh, sorry Kusif Kukulain <laughs> again uh, coming through right at the right time I think for East there but um, <laughs> woof unless we got like a Leviathan maybe yeah he I think realistically you want a hard cast Leviathan at this point because I don't think there's enough in break zone for Lena to get Leviathan yeah because in theory you can target the Mons that's, uh, as much as you don't want to see a second that's one card completely removed um and a, say a samurai or well probably princess goblin actually because you know you're not searching anything yeah. off that um, and you can then kill the ace and the tyvus um, but we're going into LB I probably it's just going to be the Tidus it's got plenty okay. of characters so I think I think uh, this one's a tough one because I think you kind of need to put ace to the bottom of the deck um, yeah I would kind of kind of agree with you to be honest because 
as much as you want to put Tavas or um, Montleonis away, I think Ace is your biggest problem right now. Um, no, Kitty did not use the Tyrus ability um, because I don't know why, to be honest. He did search the warrior backup, but I think he may have binned his hand out, so... Oh, and there's the uh, Lena. Um, did we not trigger the Tidus effect? Uh, no, I think we did. I think he was just... Ah, oh, we're doing it now. No, 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 this is the Leviathan Oh, now. this is the Leviathan. Yeah. So we're going to sack off the Leviathan to deal three, I would have thought, just to uh, actually make one less trigger. Oh, no, we're doing both the Tidus and the Leviathan at the same time. Well, you can't do that. Because he, because he, he would have had to have done the Tidus first, and then hit the. Um... Yeah, I think maybe the Tidus was not. Oh, I... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So he amated the that, and then. Oh right. Yeah. Okay, missed I... that. <sighs> Apologies. And yeah, because you could you couldn't stack playing Lena. I hit the ward, Lena. Wow. I mean, Kitty doing all right on these. Uh... These experts is right now. And Neo Pass. Still, Leviathan's showing just how much work to put in, sort of thing. Yeah, and the problem you've got now is Kitty's down to three backers, so another Mont isn't likely. Um, this is a close game. I'm wondering if we can play Zakia into like a Cyan attack to kill the Leviathan. Problem is, you've still got two Piranha. A warrior like Anne now Leo, with a potential another Tidus next turn as well. So, I don't think Kitty's longed for this one. I think this might be going to Reese after two games. However, Kitty put up a bloody good fight there. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it was almost a game of Russian roulette. Who's gonna, you know, sort of a game of chicken rather? Who's gonna pull the chicken, you know, yeah. chicken first? Huh? Who's gonna pull the trigger first? Um, you know, like. Kitty went into the, the Mont, obviously that then got responded with the Tidus, and I think the Tidus going second is what's going to walk away with this. Yes, it got arm added, but then Leviathan couldn't, so yeah. that's more dangerous, really. So I think at this point, you just don't have enough to come back from this. Yeah. So the only thing I can think is that Reese potentially knew knew that he had arm at, um, or, or thought Based at least it it very likely, the yeah, exactly, so that he could at least get the kills with the, the Leviathan. So... Yeah, so funnily enough, get physical. This is uh, one that's been running around this uh, this tournament today. A lot of people not knowing how the interaction with Amat works on the uh, on the Tidus. I'm inclined to believe that it's you pay three, that's a one win trigger. Then when you do so, that's the next trigger. But apparently, people are saying that they're all three separate abilities um, that you can only Amat one of them or that you have to am at the entire thing after yeah. pay, uh, before paying three. I've always known it to be if it's on the same line, it's the same ability, but I think the argument is is because it's select up to three of the three actions, they're seeing those three actions are separate. I, But I'd be inclined to agree with you, I would see it as one effect. Yeah, because it. I'm just trying to think of uh, something. It's in the FAQ. Ooh, link us that FAQ if you can. We yeah, that would that. be great. Just because I don't want to touch anything on the background of the stream just in case it goes crazy <laughs> I mean we've already had one disconnect so uh, um, saw one trigger people are getting it confused, confused with Axstar yeah okay that would make sense to me as well um, so again there was a ruling in one of the games um, actually with Reese and Chris Davids uh, earlier today where it was ruled that they are separate abilities and that you either have to am at one of them or am at before you pay the three. Um, I also think that's a little bit too broken for a limit break. Exactly. Like, it's, it's a double win. It, it always kind of reminds me of, of Bash again, like we mentioned before. You yeah. know, you can take the damage, then am at the search, you know? But, um, yeah, the, I would agree. So T to CP is paid at resolution. After paying the cost, the selected effect is placed on the stack. Yeah. Okay. I would be inclined. Yeah. So we do know that that's on the uh, the ruling. I will. I'll let... update Gareth on that. Yeah. 
because uh, we, we were inclined to agree with that, but apparently there was a bit of an outcry here from a lot of people who agreed and uh, with the original ruling as it went, and yes, so appreciate that. The Master Flex, appreciate it. We will uh, definitely let them know. In the meantime, though, Kitty's still digging for answers, and I just don't think I don't he's going to have yet. it. Yeah, I think we're just going to zap, zap, kill. Yeah. No, I, I think we can still kill the uh, the Leviathan here. Yeah, that bit we knew uh, with regards to if the, you know, because you've paid when it was eight. It's, it's the fine. way that we said it was that if you can am at after you take damage from the bash search, it should work the same after you pay with Tidus. So, Mimu FFBE from Kitty. I don't think it's going to be enough to stem the tide, though. Do we have anything left? Ah, Mrs. Reese, good of you to finally join us. Uh, I've got a funny feeling that uh, Mr. Reese may just win this. Yeah, I think this one could be over, but Kitty making. He's making a last stage comeback. Yeah. Um, so I mean, he's not got another Monty Onus now since he's had to limit break Zach, which puts him in a little bit of a bad spot the longer this game goes on. Yeah, um, but it looks like we've used the Mimu FFBE effect to get back the ace. Um, it won't have haste though, will it? Uh, no, no it won't. So it's not the best, but it's still 9k. Uh, having the 9k forward that is going to threaten you is still quite big, but... Reese just needs one bounce with Leviathan on the field, and that's kind of it for Giddy. Yeah, exactly. I mean, again, staring down two Piranha, Warrior Light, and Leviathan here. He just needs to squeak one of them through. So, uh, yeah. So, just as a recap for, for poor old Mrs. Reese that missed the first game. Oh, no. There's no ammo uh, for that one. Yeah. I think we have seen it I think Reese yeah. has got this and there's now. Sex Boom there Reese we go taking it so yes first game I'm going to quickly go update Gareth sure. on that ruling uh, so yeah uh, Reese taking an absolute stormer in the first and unfortunately Kuddy just couldn't get it started poor Mulligan into a poor hand fought as best he could but just couldn't get round Tidus and right here again Kitty pulled, was ahead pulled the trigger on the Montleonis Tidus though just ruining everything that uh, the Kitty put out on the field but there we go. So Reese taking that game, the first one, uh, you know, two to zero, in an absolutely commanding way. So there's that mono water game that I'm sure uh, someone was asking for. Really apologise that I've forgotten who it was, but you know, just just because we wanted it. But we will do a quick be right back, guys. We'll take a short break while we get Reese over here, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll see how that game went from. So catch you in a bit. All right, we're back. Here he is, winner of the first top cut game, two to nil. Reese, man, a clinic, I think, for you. I don't think it was ever not in your control. I think it's, I've, other people have said otherwise, but I think it's a good matchup. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, obviously, I, I kind of likened it to a game of chicken, like who pulled the trigger first, and even I'll when- I'll pull the trigger first, always. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, even when you saw the, the Mont, it felt like the Tidus was just always the better option. Um, this is very, very good. Uh, if you get five backups and you're like not under pressure, which I wasn't really, especially game one, you can see this and Levy in one turn, yeah. which is a so, win. Did you know that he had the uh, Amat in hand? No, or was it just I figured an, it. Uh, educate, I, I figured it. Because that it, it felt really good, well, actually. If I'd revolved the T this and he hadn't allowed me it, then I go final Lena as yeah, well and I just win. Yeah. Um, so I was like, I was deciding which one was the one I wanted to get Ami, so I think it was Tidus. Um, and yeah, um, game one was a game of backup, so I got to five on turn two, mm -hmm. and then it's all gas all the way home. Yeah. Um, and double Tidus, like Tidus back to back. Sure, yeah. I know, obviously your list is running, is it 15 backups, right? Um, uh, yeah, 15. Yeah. I mean, did, does it need to be that high for you, or is it just where you were comfortable at saying? So, it probably could be lower, but 
I like having the maths in my favour where I should have two backups in my opening hand sure. and basically two and a half if I'm going second. Um, and then ultimately, because you cycle for your cards so much, the, you, you, know, you never, lots of decks have mono worth. Their, their problem is they're amazing deck, but sometimes they can just go draw two backups. Draw two backups. Yeah. Worst things are worse than you draw two backups and you're, and you're on five if you play Tidus. And if not, you can cycle them with like, you discard them, you can kind of cycle for your cards. So like, Geomancer is a backup that's in there, yeah. but it's not really, because if you draw it when you're on five backups, you just, it turns into a, you know, draws, just yeah. does nothing, it's just the same thing. Uh, if you're flooding on them, Gordon can get rid of them. Um, Sarah's the only kind of brick backup, but it's, I love it, it's a really good card. And Princess Sarah makes combat map. I've won, I've done lots of good things with Sarah Tap. Mm-hmm. An Astrologian is a backup that can put your other backups to the bottom. Like you can put one on top, one on bottom. Um, Yags Rosh I put in because the like Ice Lightning matches, which I haven't faced today, but I know there's one running yes. about. So he's there just for that. Because sometimes you get him and you're great. Yeah. No, and Operate I've... also can put a backup that you draw into the box. So it's all just like, they cycle quite well. Yeah, no, I completely agree. The Yags Rosh is, is nice to see that back in because uh, you are right, you know, uh, we did see a lot in the sort of store celebrations there was a lot of ice and things like that so yeah uh, any sort of changes that have maybe stood out to you in this or are you happy with the, the list at the moment well I actually made some changes last night okay so I used to I was not a big fan of I did not get the piranha right right all the way until now um, but I was finding I used to play the T-list forward and it's, I, I found I finding it was too clunky. It's not really very good for right now. Because what you want it to do is say, deal two damage to them and they get scared and you draw three and remove yeah. something. What it normally says now is uh, it gets killed randomly as they wipe your board. Um, so I took them out. Also it clashes with the experts. Yes. So they can know that you can't play it as long as they leave it alone. So I tried Piranha and it's a rubbish little card, but it does four damage a game. Yeah. Like, it's, it is it's surprisingly difficult to deal down. with yeah like yes it's only a forward in your turn so you can't block with it but I think when we read it it was a bit like uh, you can't block with it and maybe it's not so good but you just wanted to attack it sits there as a forward count towards Tidus in your turn um, it, it just it just gets chip damage in because you can just play the control game and chip damage they don't want to kill it they don't want to use resources on it if they have if they have monster removal they don't want to use it on Prana if it dies and you've taken damage you draw so they don't want to block it again it's just great you know, actually it's probably done 60% of the damage I've done yeah. today wow. uh, just to be honest okay so obviously we're not sure who your matchup is is going to be next I don't want 54 you don't want 50 that's your only scare don't you I think it's a game I don't think it's an insta loss for me I don't think it's a fun game for me no matter what so I, I, I look at 10 cards or 12 cards if I'm going second or 11 cards if I'm going first and I just hope she moves in sure because yeah. either they play into Shimu and I'm happy, or they don't play into Shimu and I have time to play. And so I, I played played a um, Swiss, and I didn't see Shimu and I just died before I got to do anything. So I didn't really get to play. Um, so it's not my favourite sort of game to play. So I, I want to avoid it because I either feel like I'm going to have it, I have it and I win, or I don't and I lose. Yeah, I mean, I suppose that's the the, the better side of things with you being in a in a best of three situation with it. At least you potentially got two outs. Yeah, you know, two times to win, two times um, to draw it. Yeah. yeah. So, well, hopefully you do. Uh, that, well, that you don't come up against your obviously hated deck, but uh, I want to go against Cloutman's deck. So yeah. it's great for me. Yeah. Okay. It's cool. a really good match for me. Well, we don't know the scores on the rest of the games at the moment because they are still that's underway. It. But guys, uh, we'll let Reese go have a bit of a break for his next one, and we will be back shortly. Catch you in a bit.